The Porta Pack plugs into the HackRF1 software defined radio and adds an LCD touchscreen, controls, an audio interface, and an SD card slot. Here's a quick run through of the features in the latest firmware release on February 22nd, 2016. You can now restart the device in HackRF mode to use the HackRF with host software like GNU Radio, GQRX, and SDR Sharp. Press the HackRF reset button to return to Porta Pack mode. The receiver modes are separated into two groups. The audio receiver modes are in one submenu. The new digital transponder receivers are in another submenu. These new modes receive transponder signals from boats, utility meters, and automobiles. In the audio receiver mode, single sideband is now supported. Here is a 2 meter weak signal net being received using upper sideband. This is a 40 meter contact I monitored using lower sideband. This is the wideband or broadcast FM receiver mode. You can see the in-band on-channel HD radio sidebands in the Spectrum waterfall. For narrowband FM, three bandwidth and deviation variants are supported. You can see the bandwidth changing in the Spectrum waterfall. AM, or double sideband, is useful for aviation, HF, and broadcast stations. The resistive touchscreen provides a quick way to enter a tuning frequency. Sleep mode turns off the display and reduces power consumption by about 300 milliwatts. You can calibrate the tuner by adjusting the parts per million offset, which is preserved when the power is off. The spectrum analyzer mode shows 18 megahertz of spectrum. The new automotive tire pressure monitor mode displays sensor data from the tires of Ford, Lincoln, and Mercury vehicles transmitting in the 315 MHz ISM band. More varieties will be decoded as I find time to reverse engineer them. The new ERT mode receives ITRON utility meter transmissions in the 900 MHz ISM band. The new AIS mode receives transponder signals from boats. Details of an individual boat can be viewed. To learn more about this open source hardware and software project, go to sharebrain.com.